Okay, welcome to Cloud Dancer Speaks. Excuse the squeaky flute, I'm afraid this particular flute, this flute, flute, flute is subject to heat and cold at the moment. It's a bit cold as you can see. I've got my nice warm Persian coat on. Now, what to talk about? So much has happened. I hope some of you had an enjoyable Valentine's Day, as I did. Uh, though I was surprised utterly by Dark Raven one. And sometimes she comes out with these massive surprises which blows me, blows me socks off. Okay. Now, yesterday was an SBAT, and because of the SBAT, I want to discuss maybe a couple of things with you. First, things we were told there are 3,000 planets. Planets, love, planets! So she has a go at me. See, she's quiet now because she knows I'm right. Uh, there are 3,000 planets in our galaxy that contain life of some description or another. Now we were told not to bother with these because we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to comprehend it in any case. We are just one. And we're right on the cusp, we're right on the edge of the, of the galaxy. The centre of the galaxy, we don't know what there is, but it's a massive power build-up. Been there for a few, th <laughs> few millennium now, I reckon. Some of you are still suffering from the bad weather. We've had tornadoes over here. We've had hurricanes over here, which was rather sad. It caused a lot of damage. And I know Britain have had it really bad. But we've been, I've been assured that in two weeks, things will level out. We just hope, hope so anyway. I have my son with me for the next week, which is quite, quite pleasant. Um, thank you for some of your good wishes over my side, because it was causing severe pain. It's a pulled muscle, I think. I think, you know, but the pain was severe. Fortunately, I was tended by my dog and by Dark Raven One. She's in there at the moment, contemplating what I'm going to say about her, but we won't, we won't, we'll pretend she's not here. She won't let me do now. <laughs> And the city are like an amoeba. Anyway, as I was saying, I, was talk I want to talk about dimensions and planets. Dimensions are beyond your understanding completely. They're beyond my understanding. So, there's only one dimension that we need concerned with. And that is the fourth. We live in a third dimension, that is length, breadth, etc, etc. The fourth is, how can I explain it? It's like ghosts. Um, the beings on the fourth dimension can communicate, but they vibrate at a lot higher level. And I, I guess on the fifth, sixth, they vibrate on a higher level than the fourth. So you can only comprehend the next dimension. You cannot comprehend the whole ten. Seventy-two percent. There, there's eruptions about water at the moment, but there's seventy-two percent of water on this earth. 
Now it's strange, there's also 72% water in your body. Your body's made of 72% water. Unless you're Dark Raven one, of course, and she's made of about 90%, I think. I hate to think what you're made of. <laughs> ah, the, the voice from the inner sanctum. Here comes my baby coming up to say hello again. Mm. Sapphire. Sapphire. Oi, I'm talking to you. Oh, she's going in to see Dark Raven one. Trying to get her up out of bed. But I am in bed, asshole. She needs a plug of dynamite for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a new cotton play tomorrow. Well. No, that's very true. Okay. Right, here she comes out again now. She's a beautiful girl. I know you didn't see her last time, so... Little Buffalo has decided to, when she comes in, to train the camera on her, so you all can appreciate her and see her. She's be, since I haven't been well, she's been lying down beside me, very concerned. Anyway, there she goes, see what I mean? <laughs> Go on over there. So, spirit. Now we've picked up loads of strange things. We've picked up the universal energy or force and it's permeating through everything. And when you see this, um, how can I explain it to you? This patchwork of energy lines, all vibrating at different, different levels. It looks like a quilt or a loosely knit um, piece of material, cloth. But I notice you cannot see the planets, you can only see this energy vibrating. So where are the, where do the planets go? Ah, that was strange, I thought. And when I brought it down a bit, you could see it passing through people, part of people. And I understand now what they say when they said, we are all interrelated. We are all one. Yeah, you can say that now. We are all one. Because this energy, the same energy that's in a caterpillar or a bug, or a dog, or a horse, or a cat. It's the same energy through a plant. It's the same energy through a human. It's the same energy through this earth that you live on. You are part of the earth. It can shelter you. It can sustain you. It can heal you. If you only give it a chance. I trust in explicitly the power of this strange energy. It can be transmitted by thought and accelerated. This is, of course, some of you know as Reiki. And it's all to do with the unified field. But I have been warned, and I think I've, been, I've gone overboard here. I have been warned by Dark Raven 1 not to go too deep on this. So I'll back off from it. Yes, but you better add. See what I mean? So you will understand. So we concentrate mainly on the fourth dimension. Some people call it uh, Nevada. Some people call it Summerland. It doesn't matter, it's a word. But it's the same place. It's the same universe, if you like. And you're aware of it. Now, I don't communicate with people who have crossed over because people who have crossed over have usually got too much to do um, with their spirit lives. I say spirit lives very loosely because they're no different than what you and I are, except they vibrate at a different frequency. And 
it's only interrupting, interrupting them. I don't see the point in that. I do, however, it's not going to benefit me by talking to someone who's crossed over or benefit anyone else. But by talking to the masters and some of the higher ecclians, I gain knowledge. I gain understanding. I think understanding is the key word here, to understand what is happening. Understand what's happening to you, understand what's happening to me. Understanding what's happened to the bu um, to, to little buffalo as he falls asleep on the chair. Not falling asleep. <laughs> I'm only kidding, son. I'm only kidding. Oh, no. oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, Dark Raven once got the edge because she's already in bed, bless her heart. <laughs> no, I'm not in bed. <laughs> You're sat on yours 24-7. I know. I know. You know why, too. Because you won't let me get up. I go to let the dogs out, mate, get threatened. Yeah, because you do your siding. Nah, well. What's the side amongst friends? <laughs> <laughs> you I want to thank all of you for your responses that you've given me. I'm sorry about my flute playing this time, but uh, I got the wrong flute for the weather and it's a bit cold. We haven't put the heater on yet. Oh. Well, we can't afford the heater and eat at the same time. <laughs> no, it's such a jerk. She, she, she's full of gob today. I don't know what I don't know what's got into it. You should come up, come up here and do the video yourself, Mom. You must be joking. She's shy. No, she's, she's shy. She finds people might see her in the street. Um, don't worry, they they recognise her all right from past videos. I've had lots of strange responses like that, and I find it very amusing. We were leaving our shopping centre one day and there was a group of people and as we were getting into the taxi they were waving like mad, they were going bananas waving at us, weren't they love? Didn't know them from Adam. They knew us. Strange. Strange. Some of you are going through a harder time than what you should but rest assured these are hard times in your journey are only short in comparison. They are to give you understanding and not be taken in by others. 14 minutes of past. Okay. How many people do you know that go to these fairs and they've been taken in? Oh, I'm a clairvoyant to, the, to royalty. Yeah, sure you are. I mean, and they're queuing up. 80 euro a kick. No wonder the clairvoyant goes home with a big grin on their faces. The only difference is they're not clairvoyant, are they? No, no, he's a psychic. They're good psychologists. Good, very good psychologists. Um, even Dark Raven one got caught that way. I was in, I was in the sidelines laughing at me sides off. <laughs> so then he said something else. <clears throat> it was whatever Dark Raven said to her, she fed it back to her differently. <laughs> yeah, saw the future. And some of them have said ridiculous things. Absolutely ridiculous things. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. A true psychic is there to serve people, not for people to serve their greeds. Just remember that. I know some of you, it's like preaching to the converted. I'm sorry about that. So, um, what is your key weapon to deal with all this hassle and soul-wrenching events? I will tell you, it is meditation. 
And I'm putting on, uh, it's already started, I've put on one, one thing on meditation. And I will each, I will put meditate, different meditations on that will help you. But before you go into any meditation, lie on your back and do not move. I don't care what you think of. Count your breathing if it makes you feel happier. Don't move. Then you'll feel um, like a disentanglement with your body. Like your body's not there. It's like the only part that exists is your head. And that, that's like on a pillow or wherever your head is. The rest of your body you're unaware of. That is deep meditation. From there you can carry it on to astral projection or whatever you wish. But I'll be putting these series on for you, if you wish to try them. Okay, um, little buffalo has told me I've got to get off, because she has enough trouble with this. And I also apologise for the delay in this video, which should have been done before now, but we're pretty exhausted here. So from Dark Raven, one myself, Little Buffalo, we send our blessings to you and strength to you. For after all, we're all family in more ways than you know. Namaste. I'm Shanti.